Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader and intuitive. And Virg, tonight we're just doing a pop-up reading. I normally don't do them this late, but I was called to do a reading. I feel like some of you guys are eating dinner super late. But this reading is going to be focused on um, what your person would like to say to you that they haven't said to you. Okay, so I want to switch it up a little bit, spice it up. Um, and we're just going to see what your person hasn't said because I feel like I'm tapping into some Virgos who you know you have feelings for this person. This person has feelings for you. I'm not talking about a delusional couple where the where there's no contact, there was never no type of nothing from that person. I'm talking about you know it. Like, you know it was a vibe. Like, you know she was feeling you. You know he was feeling you, however the genders go. But yeah, I want to see what the fuck they got to say since they haven't said shit. Oh, Lord. Virgo. <laughs> I know you're not dealing with somebody with bad credit message. See, they they definitely want to say something, okay? But they, they're not good in your book right now, okay? If they don't have bad credit, they're not good in your book right now. You're not happy with them, okay? Something about the way they move in, the way they carry in themselves. You don't appreciate that shit. You would rather them talk to you first, but you first here. You want them to reach out first, okay? But it's like they want you to reach out first, okay? There's somebody who might live close to you. Okay, we have content here that will make you very happy if this person reached out first. You feel like that's that's their duty. They should do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, Virgo. So you were trying to drop it, okay? Um, or your person was because there is some toxicity here. I'm seeing a lot of dope-ass conversation with dope combo here. So you guys definitely had chemistry. Um, very much chemistry. A magnetizing kind of chemistry where... You guys are infatuated with each other one minute and then the next minute, like, you guys aren't talking, okay? I'm seeing people having issues with talking, okay? Some people could be aware that you're dealing with this person and be hating on the fact that you that you have this person, okay? We have dinner coming out. Um, you want to, do you want to ask somebody on a date, Virgo, or is this person trying to ask you for that, all right? You also have um, some sort of happy ending here, Virgo, okay? So either you were... Uh, the one administering fellatio, okay, or you were receiving it, take it, take it as it resonates, okay, but reconciliation is on the horizon with someone, or with this person, I guess, okay, this person does want to build with you, um, I don't know if they have told you that, I don't think so, since, oh my god, you in this goddamn Aries, all right, this person owns a business, they're an entrepreneur, okay, so if it's not, if this is not, this is, these cards are pretty specific. So if it's not resonating, it may not be a reading, okay? But we have meddling people and I saw haters before. So there's a lot of people who may, may disprove of this, okay? But this Aries feels like you're their favorite. They want to tell you that and with favorite, they do have other people, okay? Just to put that out there. It may not be like, um, not necessarily feeling like this person is sleazy or anything like that, but you guys are in an, are not in a committed connection, okay? Something, you could be um, a nurse or an LPN, Virgo, something to do in the healthcare field, okay? Or your person is. We also have Libra here. They're trying to balance the scales, but something is happening also soon. You're doing something right now, or your person is realizing that you are the, the one that they really do actually like, and you're like, I know, like, I know that this that is this person. Like you know who this is. Comment below if you know who this is. They are definitely a whole vibe. Okay, it could be a Sagittarius. All right, tell me more about this. Tell me more about this connection spirit. But it's like they want you to come out first. They feel like you might be a little bit too independent for them. They want you to make the first move, but I don't think you should. Because with bad credit coming out first, Berg, that's how you. That's how they are in your book. Okay, they fucked up in your book right now. So if that's how it is, I know they did something legitimate to piss you off. You have level up coming out here. Okay, because you're on your shit. Like you don't really, you're not coming off needy or anything. And this person knows that. So I feel like they kind of need you to be the one to initiate contact because they're not too good. But just, um, I'm getting a little insecure. This person, your person that you're dealing with could have some level of insecure insecurities. Okay, they do see you though as a future wife or a future husband. I don't know if you see them that way. 
okay but they do they have thought about that that definitely is in their mind they do wish that they could say that to you but i think you would think that that was crazy they keep that shit quiet okay they keep that shit quiet with my house here that's something that they would never leave their house they would never let that out well they telling on you today okay they want you and it's a dirty little secret yes it's confirmation like they really don't want you to know this why is this such a fucking why it's gotta be a secret why can't okay we have a laugh here they they don't want to they it's like they appreciate the connection for how it is so they don't want to mess it up okay because they do like the vibe that you guys have and feel like if they come in they might mess something up or they might hurt you so i'm getting somebody who wants to keep it light and lighthearted, just for the sake of you being okay because they may not trust themselves okay i'm getting a lot of insecurities with your person bird okay that could be you but i really don't feel like it could be you i feel like it's your person okay we have legacy here and <laughs> Your person, you are a damn fool, Virgo. This is like laughing, hee hee, ha ha. Like you are a jokester all day, you or your person. And that's what they love about this connection. So I, don't, I feel like they don't want to mess that that vibe up, okay? But something with this um, timer here, it's like something that was taking a long time is now starting to come out or come to fruition, okay? But it's taking a long time. You're just looking at it, Okay um and you're just dealing with it dealing here okay uh, literally somebody could be dealing with a drug dealer okay um <laughs> but that's not, that's maybe one person but um with some of you you guys are just dealing with the fact that it's how it is okay because you feel like that's just where it's supposed to stay you feel like you know this person may not be your me be your forever person and you're okay with that okay we have last night okay i feel like friday even the last night wasn't friday but last night you realized something okay and dirty little secret we have third party falling over dirty little secret and a damn fool okay we also have um i'm seeing the fool card and that's also aries so that's aries twice and you might have felt like you don't want to be this person's fool so that's why you cut them off because you're just unsure about them um that hasn't really come i haven't seen anything crazy but you might just feel like they have a third party or you may know that but virgo it looks like you might be reconciling with this person okay they want to reconcile with you damn virgo wow okay this person could be married or again this person could really be seeing you like this virgo and really have an issue telling you that but may want to reconcile to tell you that they feel like their back is against the wall this person could have your back against the wall flip the rolls as it goes <laughs> okay y'all y'all some little nasty all right you smoking right now all right rolling up a blunt Okay, I feel like your weed man is pretty reliable. He does, um, <laughs> I don't know why I just got that message. This is only for a few Virgos, but he has shorted you before, okay, where you had to call him the fuck back, all right? Yeah, you had some unanswered questions for him, but aside from your weed man, um, you're, this, you're with your person, okay? Do you, are you messing with your weed man, Virg? Ciao. Okay, only maybe for a few of you, but some of you, for <laughs> this is a normal person, you know, a person that you're dealing with, some uh, some love messages that they haven't said, you have unanswered questions, but I feel like they may be coming back to actually answer these questions that you may have, or, you know, you guys kind of started something cute, you know, but it wasn't, it didn't go off to anything. But I think you're okay with that. You won't be completely heartbroken. Okay, you feel like you want to put everything out there with on stage. You want to put everything on front street. Like, what is this? What are we doing? Okay, you might want to just chill with them. You guys, um, you could be watching Netflix and smoking, watching TV, chilling. But you want to do that with them, having a little drink. Okay, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Leo. Okay. Yeah, you got a little, um, a little schedule, I feel like, when you get off of work that you stick to. And it's like, you're okay. You're all right with that. Your person might be, with again, with your person and their insecurities with will you love the real me. I feel like your person kind of feels like you may not appreciate who they truly are because they put on a, they put on a persona in public, okay? But really, they're fearful about, about being exposed, okay? You may know something about them, okay? It could be a Scorpio. 
Okay. This person, I, but why are you so upset with this person, Virgo? Like, because you guys aren't talking and they haven't said shit? Yeah, it's a lot. I'm not going to take all those. This deck has like 180 cards in it, Virgo, by the way. It's the right one. Wow, this person really has some strong emotions for you, Virgo. I don't feel like they have told you this, Virgo. Look at this, Virgo flipped over in the deck. You could be dealing with another Virgo. Okay, but I feel like that's you. And at some point, you might have felt like this was the right one because you like this person, but this person really, really likes you. And you might just be ignoring them right now. This is kind of funny. Yeah, you feel like it was too much. Why was it too much? You just want to be single. Why was it too much? Now I want to know. Now I got to get more nosy. I was about to close the reading. But something happened, bro. we urgent. Urgent message. Okay, something you found out or you it's just overwhelming. I feel like something is boiling over to the top. I'm literally seeing maybe even emotions, but water boiling over the top. Like too much. I can't do it. We have jealousy here and whatever you want. Okay, this person could have been really jealous, really needy. Um, they would they would propose to give you anything that you want, but maybe wouldn't show up with it. Okay, um, or at least talk to a good one, or maybe they did show up. Okay, but I feel like they could have showed up for you. But why are they so bad in your book? Okay, I don't. They because they needy. Mm, is this a sneaky link, or they have one? All right, and they haven't taken you out, Virg. It's just kind of a sneaky link kind of situation. And you feel like you want to, I don't know, at least be taken out the house. Yeah, like you want to at least go out in public. You don't want to just sit at home or just be in the house. These niggas love to be in the fucking house. You want him, you want this person to profess their love to you in public. Not like they don't have to say it out loud, okay? It's not like they have to broadcast it to the world, but I'm also not no fucking secret, okay? You also have corporate professional here, so you could be, or that's your person. <laughs> it could also be a Gemini. You have I'm coming here, okay? You could have also been jealous because someone else was pregnant, Virgo, okay? And this person didn't tell you that, and you felt like that was very toxic. They had a very toxic situation going on. Okay, because I don't feel like it was you. Okay, what else do we have for the situation? This is a lot. Yeah, something something in the nighttime, Virgo. Something you found out in the nighttime. And you just tried to block that shit out with block coming up. And you was like, I'm done. I don't wanna I don't wanna talk about this shit. Like get get the hell off my phone with this shit. That's the energy that I'm getting with you. You make me crazy, like Nah, I'm not about to let you steal my peace. That's the energy I get. Somebody could have been saying that they want you back late at night and, and trying to do it in a silly way or stupid way, but you're dead ass. Like, it's not even funny. It's not even cute what you're doing. Please get off my line. Please go. Please, let's put this distance between us back between us. Somebody that you just don't want to deal with. And you, you dealt with them for a minute, Virgo. You dealt with them for a minute. Yeah, you did. And you might even thought, like, you might even thought at one point, like, they weren't the right one. But she was like, oh, hell no. Nah. No sorry, Bob. It felt like you knew them, Virgo. And then they did shit, okay, with Gem. I feel like this person could have been a Gemini, have different personalities almost sometimes. And, like, you, it went back and forth to you feeling like you guys are really building something to, like, okay, we're at square two. Okay, maybe not square zero, but two. The fuck? Okay, perfect for me. Situationship on the way. Artist. Interesting. So this definitely did feel like a um a situationship energy for sure. But the person who was more perfect for you is on the way, Virgo. And I feel like that highlights the reading that I just did before that. So you before this, if you haven't seen that, please check that out. Um this person can could be an artist or you could, but just know that the person that you're supposed to be with, that's that's being built with construction here. There's something going on behind the scenes, okay? I'm seeing justice, okay? You could be dealing with a Libra or have Libra placements, Virg. Okay, let's get a couple more cards. Yeah, you don't have to put up with no situation ship shit, Virg. Okay, again, with this emphasis with you, here you are focusing on your entrepreneurship, your new business, your new endeavor, okay? And yes, this person has a lot of feelings for you, but I have so many feelings for you, but they play. You know, it's just not, I'm not... 
And if they're still not saying shit, they, we have sincere here. They love your body. Okay, they're very, um, they're a very, like, sexual person. Okay, and that's what I'm afraid that this may really be with this person. Okay, they talk a good one. I'm getting a real smooth talker, but they could not really have it like that. They just talk like they do. They act like they so solid and so, um, so, like, the perfect person, but... It's no, it's no reciprocity. It's all talk. I have womanizer here. Okay. So that makes sense with that third party situation we saw. All right. So I see why they bad in your book. What the hell is this? It could be an earth sign. Okay. A Virgo like yourself. Okay. What else do we have? You were right about this person. Okay. So whatever your intuition was, Virg, Spirit is here to tell you it's right. Okay. I have happy tears for you in your past. I mean, in your recent energy, and I lied in your past energy, so you felt like this person could have lied to you with a forthcoming. And remember, there's supposed to be love messages from the person that hasn't expressed this to you. I feel like it would make you super happy if this woman expressed, how, if this person expressed, or if the woman expressed how she felt about you. Okay, take it as it resonates. But um, you're also really happy that you were able to get closure on your own without even having to get it to look to this person to get it. You were able to do that on your own. You have our family here. So I feel like you're focused more on family values, things that really have longevity and stability in your future, Virgo. I don't feel like you're focused on that. Yeah, you're giving it a break. And I'm definitely tapping to Virgo. So I'm just tired. You know, you feel like the right person is going to come for me when, when it's supposed to be, period. Okay? Period. Like, the right person is supposed to be, I will, I will be right here. I'm not going nowhere. Okay, let's get a couple more cards before we close the reading. Too clingy. All right, who did I say was, um, yeah, your person, Virg. Okay, I have pet here. Not feeling it. Pet and not feeling it came out. So, yeah, you were just like, I'm good. I'm good. And your tears of joy could also be because because you overcame the situation we have pet like petty okay they could be annoying like a pet i'm getting a teacher's pet just saying the right things but only for your own but only for their own benefit not necessarily yours or even doing the right things they didn't get it yet okay they may get it eventually but right now they haven't really changed much i understand that you really like this person Berg, but um I don't know. They haven't done that much changing. They really haven't. It's pretty much the same kind of energy that you left this person on. That feels like how they're coming in. It, I don't feel like it's different. Okay. And again, I see distance at the bottom of this deck. And we saw it at the bottom of that, the other deck as well. Okay. Yeah, something you want to overcome. You're over it. And I don't blame you. Now we have sad tears. Yeah, you know that you did the right thing because your spirit was smiling, Virgo. But it hurt you because you really did care about this person. But it's all about you right now. And spirit wants you to know that you need to focus on you, Virgo. There's nothing greater. There's nothing more incredible than focusing on yourself and pouring into your own energy, period. Okay? You really wish this person would come in and say sorry. You might even want to say sorry for, to this person because of how you might have left them out in the cold. Or you might have feel like you said something wrong, okay? Or they made you feel like you said did something wrong and you didn't, okay? But either way, you're going to be good, Virgo. Please check out the other reading. Okay, yeah, fun is on the horizon. And we have past hurt in the past energy, okay? So continue being a fun energy. You have a lot of things to look forward to, Virgo. If you haven't checked out the recent reading, please do. Because I feel like this is literally you before that next reading so if you haven't go check it out hope you enjoy your reading bird